Good morning, everybody. It is going to be a fairly nice winter day today, so I'm headed down to the coastal plain of Georgia to assist on a permitted eastern indigo snake survey. Today, we're going to be searching for eastern indigo snakes in habitat alongside Binstiganga of the Orient Society and some of our friends with the goal of capturing new snakes, potentially recapturing snakes that have already been marked and marking any new snakes that we can find as part of ongoing population monitoring to ensure that eastern indigo snake populations are either healthy or stable and aren't at risk of blinking out anytime soon. And as usual, if we do find any eastern indigo snakes, we will process them, weigh them, and measure them before releasing them. All right, well, it's like 11 a.m. and we still have not seen a snake. Really nice habitat, lots of tortoise burrows. Not many snakes yet. Hey, I just flipped a possum. What's up, dude? Only find of the day so far. Hey, All right, we got our first indigo shed. Actually, they saw another one, but I didn't see it, but there you have it, big male indigo shed. We've seen lots of tracks. Oh, here's the head. It's on the head? Nice. Yeah. That's cool. I'm not sure I've ever oh, seen a... I think it's missing the eye caps, but you can see the big plates yeah. on top of the head. It's pretty intact. All right, well, it took the better part of the morning, but there we go. Spotted a nice fresh track coming out of a burrow. And then Ben spotted this beautiful adult female indigo right behind it. And this is a beautiful, very healthy, fully mature, maybe even kind of towards the larger end of how big female indigo snakes can get. I'm guessing she's around five and a half, six foot. We'll measure her and process her before we let her go, as always. You think she's I think six? She's close. She I could be six. six. I think she's over five. I mean, look at her with, with Ron there. I mean, her tail was almost to the ground. And her, her head's over Ron's. Yeah, she she yeah. may be at six, like very close to six. I'm five eight. Goodness, she's not quite the biggest. Right. Dude. right past the indigo. We got a big diamond back. Look at that. Nice spot, Chad. Thanks, buddy. They're kind of long and skinny looking. Very pretty. All right, That's well. A big snake. <laughs> as often happens, it's just. Two awesome snakes back to back after a morning of tracks and sheds. Beautiful, healthy diamondback and a beautiful, healthy female indigo. Hello, sweetheart. She doesn't even want to coil up and be defensive with us. She ain't mad at nothing. She's just glad there's not snow on the ground anymore. <laughs> And there is number two. Holy crap. They are out. This one is much girthier than the first, but around the same length. Second Eastern Indigo Snake of the day. Another big female. About as big as the females get. This one was just out crawling in the open. It's very warm today, around 70 degrees, so it makes sense. What a beautiful animal. We usually start to see females more this time of year. Oh, okay. Just, they, they, they've Good all crazy. bred. They're now cooking eggs. And yeah, so we don't see many females prior to New Year's. They lay low. They're in much better condition by this time of year than males. Males are spent. Two indigos and a diamondback. All back to back. <laughs> Look at the iridescence on this one. That is unreal. Oh, there's the second oh, hole. There is a second hole. Sure enough. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, there's indigo number three. We're waiting for him to come out. Ben, how is your beard feeling? A little sandy? <laughs> All right, there's the, uh, what is that, five? Four? Four. 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 Counting the one that we missed. Yeah. Another little female. She's so pretty. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Just perfect compared to the other two that were a little bit... Well, I guess the big one was perfect, but... She don't smell like my grandma like the other one. Dude, that's your thumbnail. The, is this... Do, do a, do a, a, a meme you. of you pointing back to <laughs> your own arm. That's the thumbnail. Point at it. But yeah, the eastern indigo musk might be one of the grossest substances known to man. That's what that is. Looks like a bloody Thousand Island dressing. Ew. All right, well, this is our second and last spot of the day, probably. We might do some night shining, but it's getting a little bit late. It's been a good one, but 
This habitat here at the end of the day is not quite as nice as where we started, so I don't know if we'll be able to get more than one snake. Shorter ones are 0.05. Alright, and to go four of four. Back to the hole. Alright everyone, it's the next morning and we are once again surveying for indigos, this time on a different property. Uh, one that I've been to quite a few times. I've seen a lot of cool stuff on, so conditions today are pretty similar to yesterday it's supposed to be up to around 70 and sunny but we might end up with less cloud cover than yesterday which is going to kind of suck because it's going to get toasty all right guys noon update still skunked although yesterday it was around this time that we actually started seeing stuff so it's possible that'll happen again today but i also think there's definitely a chance that the spot we're at today just might not be as snaky all right finally we have another snake track we can see Ventral scales there, meaning it's likely a diamond back. And after a little looking around, he's very well hidden, but there he is. Beautiful. All right, so we are gonna actually bag this guy and make sure that he is not a recapture. Um, so we're gonna get him out of here and disturb him, unfortunately, but we are doing surveys today, not just harping for fun. So we gotta do the less fun part as well, but very, very cool in C2, just chilling underneath this little long leaf. Well, that is ridiculously cool. That is a mole skink. That is so sick. Wow. These guys are a very cool sandhill specialist species, and there's a couple of different species, most of which are in Florida. The northern mole skink, which this is, is the only species that lives in Georgia, but this guy looks so different from the ones I'm used to seeing in the, the central Georgia part of their range. Very, very different looking. I don't know if it's just variation or what, but absolutely gorgeous lizard i've never seen one with that orange on the face and on the side like that all right so we're processing this guy in a controlled environment um so it's safer and what we have here is a, a snake tube which is basically used so that we can safely process venomous snakes so so this is a new snake unmarked we're gonna put a pit tag in it and let it go all right, doing a little bit of night shining to end the day. Here's a common musk turtle or stink pot. I think this is actually the first in-hand turtle of the year. Pretty neat. Yeah, these are, I get these pretty commonly. You saw him Here. before you netted him? Yeah, he was on the move. So Ben just netted what we think is a lesser siren. So this would be basically a full grown adult, right? Yeah, they get a bit bigger than this, but this is pretty standard adult. Very cool. I'll get some more. I'm, I've never seen one that spotty, but I'm not even sure if I've ever seen a lesser siren in Georgia, honestly. I'm not sure I've ever caught one. So this might be the first time we've ever seen this actually very common species on the channel. Just because uh, it's been a while since I've had one in a net like this. Thankfully, Ben was able to spot and scoop this one out of the muck. That's what's up, Ron. Catch of the day, baby. Nice pick Got roll. More stolen valor. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I did, I did drop it in the water. All right. So he, For the release. He may have actually legitimately caught it again. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's been a really fun weekend with these boys, but it's time for us to part ways. However, we do have the better part of the day to flip 10 with Chad, Justin, and Ron as we make our way north. So hopefully we'll be able to turn up a few things today. Weather is perfect yet again. Third day in a row we've had nice conditions, so I expect we'll at least see something. Let's get to it. What do you think, towards you or towards me? Towards me. Okay. Bro, I can't believe this. Gray rat. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Nice. He's beautiful. Look at that. That's the same piece of tin, but a different rat snake, I think. That's awesome, man. Look at him, dude. There you go. That is so dope. Good looking. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so I think they're, there's like... Yeah, they get up under the foundation right yeah, there. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys, here is Ron with our first and possibly only snake of the day. A very nice looking gray rat snake. Hopefully there's more to come, but that is a beautiful snake if we end up having a kind of slow day. Very healthy, very pretty, freshly shed, in pretty good condition coming out of winter. Very, very pretty snake. We could see a couple of these today. They tend to be one of the first snakes out and active in the springtime in South Georgia, so... Love to see it. We'll let him go.
Love these South Georgia rats. They're definitely a little bit prettier, I think, on average than the ones back home. Definitely more of a true gray rat snake than the, the black rat snake intergrade thingies we see more often in North Georgia. There he is. Cotton rat and fire ants. Little uh, yellow bellied slider. Not very little, actually. Pretty mature adult. Very cool. First turtle cruise of 25. You love to see it. We'll get him out of the road. All right, everybody. Well, it has been a relatively slow day. Only a couple of finds with the slider on the road and the nice gray rat snake. But wow, it has been a fantastic weekend overall, though. As always, a great pleasure getting to join in on some Eastern Indigo surveys and hanging out with my friends. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first really snaky episode of 2025. And rest assured, there are many more to come. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.